Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hi all, myself, Lakshmi Srivendran, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering from Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. So today I am going to take the topic with intelligent data analytics for beginners. Okay. So the insights are going into introduction to data analytics, why data analysis is important and what is IDA, three stages in IDA and the con concept of data mining. So before going to the intelligent data analysis, I am just introducing you what is data and data analysis. So data is nothing but it is a raw fact. So as we all know data is a raw fact, anything can be assumed. So it can be a fact from which the conclusion can be gathered. Right. So next is the data analysis. So analysis means we are analyzing the data. We are analyzing the breaking up of any data into the parts and uh, from that we are just getting the insights. That is uh, the analysis of the data. Moving. So intelligent data analysis means it is the process of data analysis that requires artificial intelligence, machine learning and high performance computing, pattern recognition and statistics and database and visualization. So these are the requirements of the intelligent data analysis to move forward. So why data analysis is very important? This is a very important question to know that why it is very important for today's era. So data analysis is to extract the useful information and the knowledge from the large amount of data. So to gather the information from a large amount of data. So that is, it can be a correlation in signs and patterns. So the outcome may be the correct decision, may be decision making or proper decision making by the, for the business intelligence or business man. And to develop a more effective marketing strategies, increase sales and de decrease cost and all. So these are the output of the, output of what data analysis, the final outcome of a proper data analysis. So what is an IDA? So as I already told you, IDA means that requires artificial intelligence, machine learning and pattern recognition, HPC and also the visualization patterns and all. So here, so IDA means it is a combination of artificial intelligence and ML tools and which consider leads to the analyze and transform to the useful insights. So collection of a new, from that we will get a useful insights. That is a perfect data uh, analytics. IDA means understand the data, analyze the historical data and extract knowledge. So here are the three stages in intelligent data analysis. So the three stages are data preparation, data mining and the result validation and explanation. So here comes the data preparation. So data preparation means initially we need to find out the problem and based on the problem we need to collect the data data for that particular problem. So here the data preparation involves selecting the required data and from that relevant data source. So we can collect the data from the relevant data sources and integrating them into a data set and it, be, it can be used for data mining and must and it can add past scenario or the records or the statistics. So uh, for example while we are taking for a weather prediction and all we can take the data set for the current scenario and also we can add the data set for the past scenarios like statistics, patterns and the data which were used for the past scenarios and also we can use. This we call it as uh, include, uh, we can include the past scenarios or the records or the statistics for the what data preparations. So next is the data mining. So it is a worst topic data mining. So the data mining simply we can say that examining the large data set, a bulk amount of data, data set. That is we are examining the large data set and which leads to generate a useful information. Simply this we call it as a data mining. So next is the result validation and the explanation. These are the final steps of the analysis, data analysis. Like the verification of patterns. So after getting analysis of the uh, data center, we will get some patterns. So finally, we need to verify the patterns that produced by the data mining algorithms and also the result explanation. That is it com intuitive communication results to the clients or the customers, right? One of the topic of the three stages of IDA that I have taken is the concept of data mining. So data mining, as I have already said, it's uh, extracting the knowledge from a bulk amount of data sets. So here are the, some of the concepts of the data mining. First one is the data pre-processing, patterns, algorithms, evaluations, validation and testing, interpretations and visualization, privacy and ethics. So more to the data. 
So simply we can say that data is a raw fact as I already told you. So it can be a database, data from a databases, any social media information or other data repositories. There are so many data repositories that are available nowadays and data can be of any form, any raw facts we can consider it as a data. So it can be a structured and unstructured format. So structured we can, uh, structured format and we can say that it is in a tabular format and unstructured format we can say that text, images, videos and all. So it can be of any form we can take it as a data, right. Next the concept is a pre-processing. What we call it as pre-processing which involves cleaning, transforming and preparing the data for analysis. So initially we will get the data set as uh, it uh, contains some duplications, irrelevant data and some missing values, some reduce. So in order to reduce uh, all these kind we need to what normalize the data or to reduce the noises uh, to get a proper uh, if we need to get a proper insights from the uh, data set now we need to avoid all these kinds of done. So the pre-processing is a very important step in the data mining process. So next is the patterns. So patterns are, are the discovered relationship trends or the regularities within the data. So they represent the underlying structure or behavior hidden within the data that we call it as a patterns. Next move on to the algorithm. So algorithms are just a mathematical model. So we can see that it is a mathematical model or technique that is used to extract patterns, patterns from the data. So here I have given some of the example for the algorithm that is a priori algorithm for association road mining, k-means and uh, decision tree for classification, regression model for predictions. There are so many algorithms that are available nowadays. So these are some of the example I have given here uh, for uh, identifying what is an algorithm at all. So this, so next topic is the validation and testing. So this is the final stage of a data mining process, uh, this is validation and testing. So validating and testing the data mining models or the pattern involved, assessing their performance. So we are assessing the performance on unseen or new data. So that we call it as a validation and testing. So finally the interpretations and visualization. So like interpreting and visualizing the results of data mining is more important than understanding and the communicating with the clients or the customers which deals with and the visualization techniques such as charts graphs or interactive dashboards can provide a visual representation of the patterns and relationship found in the data and interpretation involves deriving meaningful insights and actionable knowledge from the discovered patterns that we call it as interpretations and visualization. So last is, last but not the least, this is privacy and ethics. So data mining involves, we are handling with a large amount of or huge amount of data, it can be of personal or a sensitive data. So providing, so the privacy and ethics as consider it as a crucial role. And it is essential to ensure that data mining practices adhere to legal and ethical guidelines to protect individual privacy. So and maintain data security generated by the data mining processes. So here I'm concluding my session and thank you, thank you all.